2.3 Domain and Range of Functions. This is part of my Further Maths GCSE Ultimate Revision Guide, um, and this is the Algebra section. And here we have the index button that will take you back to the index for algebra. And down here we'll have um, links to other videos I've done on this topic, uh, which are mainly exam questions, so you can practice these skills. Okay, um, these are the things we need to be aware of in the domain and range of functions. So what is the domain of a function? Well, the domain, if you think of an old-fashioned function machine, you might have done uh, very, a lot lower down school, such as x squared. Um, the values that go into the function are what we call the domain. They're the numbers we put into the function, and the numbers that can come out of the function, that's called the range. So that's what we have as a, a, the domain and range. So we, we have to be able to define a domain or user definition of a domain and then maybe have to work out what the range is, what values come out of that domain. So for example with x squared it doesn't matter what you put in, the domain can be all numbers um, but the range will always be greater than zero because the x squared graph um, is always bigger than zero. It comes down to zero and then goes back up again. So the, dom the, the domain are all the x values that you put into this graph and that can be anything so that's all, all real numbers or all numbers. Um, but the, the range are just all the values greater than or equal to zero. So when we're using function notation like f of x, uh, we would say um, where x is all, no, all real numbers or all numbers. That tells us that um, the values we're putting in, the x values we're putting in, are uh, just uh, any any number we like. Sometimes we make exceptions like x is zero. Why do we do x is zero? Usually because we're doing some sort of division. If I have the function one over x, when x is zero, that is undefined. There is no value for that, so we avoid that by saying except for x equals zero, and that's quite a common exception. We can accept um, or some of the if it was like x plus one, we'd make an exception of uh, minus one because that would make that zero and divide by zero obviously is undefined. So that's that's how we deal with the domain. Um, the range, um, we work it out, but well, we have to think about what happens to the function so that we know what happens to the range. And I'll show you some examples of that in a minute. And um, we have to be able to use different formats to, to express domains and ranges. So example of that is x is greater than two um, for all x except x equals zero. So that's saying that's the function, and that's what we're, we're values we're using, um, and what we're not using. Um, more commonly, we use this f of x notation. f of x is uh, less than or equal to zero for all f of x except f of x equals one, and all sorts of things like that. So, when we're this is how we explain what the values come out of a out of a out of a range of a function. So, this one for the for the x squared function f of x, which is will be at the x squared, um, will be greater than or equal to zero for all values. Um, and that, that's usually the standard sort of format we would use to explain stuff. Okay, let's go through some questions and see see how that works out. Okay, so here's a fairly typical question. Given that f of x is equal to x squared, so like I was saying before, and that x is greater than 3, state the range of f of x. So if we think about f of x as being um, what we would normally, if we were doing a y equals x squared graph, the f of x is, is equivalent to the y. So we have what happens when x is greater than 3. So in our x squared graph, we have this sort of graph. x is 3 over here. And then what's the value of that? Well, 3 squared is going to be 9. And if x is always greater than 3, this is also going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So it starts off at 9, and it's always bigger than that value. So we just think about what are the y values when x is greater than 3. They're always greater than 9. So um, f of x, to state a, a range of value, we talk about f of x, and then what values can that take? Well, it's going to be bigger than 9. Because this is bigger than 3, it must be bigger than 9. Um, if it was greater than or equal to 3, then we would put a greater than or equal to 9 on that. Okay, so the next part is, given that f of x is equal to 3x plus 4, and that f of x, so this is 
this is the range of values are less than zero, state the largest possible integer value of x. So what value of x gives us um, the y value or the function value which is less than zero, the range less than zero. So let's just try zero to start with. So f is zero. Well if f is, is x is zero, we've got zero here, so that's just four. So that's too big because f of x needs to be less than zero. So minus one. Um, three lots of minus one is minus three, plus four is one. Um, f of minus two. So three lots of minus two is minus six, plus four is minus two. So that's the first integer value of x where the function of x is less than zero. So it would be minus two would be our answer. Now we could do that by just trying to solve this equation. So we know that this has got to be less than zero. So we could just start with three x plus four is less than zero and then solve that equation. Um, and we just need to be aware that um, we have to use a whole number. So x has to be less than or less than minus four thirds. So the first integer value that's less than minus four thirds is minus two. So that would be our answer there, minus two. Okay, and then we've got another function, two x plus three, and we're told that the domain is x is greater than six. Write down an expression for f of three x. Well, that just means we're replacing the x with three x. So if we do that, that's gonna be um, two lots of three x plus three, and two lots of three x is six x. So f of three x is gonna be 6x plus 3. Let's take the domain and range of the function. Well, for this, because we're just manipulating the x, we're still only putting the x values in. That's the that's the domain. So the domain is where, where x is greater than 6. And the range is going to be what happens when you put that value in and, and what comes out. So when we put 6 in, um, it's, a, it's a linear function, so it's not going to curve back or do anything, anything strange. So as it gets bigger, it's just going to keep getting bigger. So when x equals 6, oh, sorry, this function here, um, f of 3x is going to be greater than 6. 6 is a 36. 6 times 6 plus 3. So f of, x, of, f of 3x is greater than 36 plus 3, which is 39. So that's our range. And that's our domain. Okay, so that's a, a little flavour of um, how you go about using domain and ranges of functions.